Welcome to the Bolivian Wildlands. Today we will be doing another set of solo challenges and the first objective will be to take out in Aqua Verde we need to use handguns to kill Santa Blanca heavies or veterans, three of them. And we need to do this without arousing suspicion and that is the tricky part because it's not enough to actually just kill one and then move on and cause a mayhem in the meantime. No, uh, it's actually worse than that uh, because you have to be able to uh, do them all in a row without uh, arousing suspicion. So I'm gonna just switch out one of my weapons here. Uh, right now I have the super shorty, so we'll switch out the super shorty. And let's see uh, if I can find it. I have so many weapons, so at this point they're just getting difficult to find. Oh, come on. I, I clicked right on that, didn't I? There we go. And we're gonna give this thing a suppressor. Now, we have to use the handgun in order to engage uh, engage um, the VIPs. But it doesn't say anything about using a sniper rifle or a, a submachine gun for the rest of them. So I'm gonna make sure we have a prepared set of Come on. I mean, it's fun swimming in a mud puddle, but you can't just do that. Not in that, not that way. So we are gonna infiltrate the area by swimming. Stealth swim, just to be safe. Once we arrive, we're gonna scout for the enemy. Or rather, we're gonna scout for the priority targets. Now, of course, we will be able to engage the got enemy activity nearby. the other targets as well, but we need to be very careful to make sure our kills aren't uh, witnessed. And that is where it's going to be fucking tricky. You're gonna get made. Hang we got back. two of them. They're down. We gotta keep moving towards the entrance and secure it. Uh, I just need uh, some eyes on what kind of forces they actually have at the entrance. Here. Because here is my reasoning behind progressing in this mission. There's no one to find a dead body if they're already dead. We're cool. we're However, now someone heard the shot. But we're still cool since... There are no uh, enemy forces who actually heard, uh, or rather they did hear, but I got two they're not right reacting on it. So we got two, wait, we got, I think we got three more Sicarios. Yeah, we got one lieutenant and three Sicarios. There are too many for us, we can't take them all out without arousing suspicion. So we're gonna target, target this guy. Four. And he's down. Okay, we're cool. Next one is that we are gonna proceed to the top of the tower. And we might actually try and get that jammer first, in fact, because uh, having a drone is going to make this immensely more easier. So, we're turning it off. And we're prepping to enter the building and from there scout out the enemy positions. There might actually be at least one uh, target very close and he's down. I want to see where that guy is. We actually got the guy without actually meaning to but that body is going to be found. And once it is, we are gonna have a big fucking problem. So, we need to switch to our sniper rifle, and we need to take out some of the more obvious 
Sniper on that roof. Sniper down. They're gonna see you. Hold up. We are suspected. This is not going to be good. Uh, that guy is going to find a body if we're not very unlucky. So we need to take him out. He's down. Good. Uh, we are also have two below us here that are also going to find bodies if they keep on going where they're going. So we need to take them out as well. And we need to do so. They're down. That's good. And we're gonna send out our drone to try and find more priority targets. I got eyes on a Jenny. We got some light panels here. Thankfully, it seems like the captain that was around here has gone the other way. We have found another VIP. And that tower looks like an office. Yeah, there's a third one. And there we have another sniper. So far, so good. And we have a lot of people on this flank as well. This is going to be tricky, but not impossible. I'll probably have to eat those words, but we're gonna go down and try and take out the two remaining VIPs. Or high value targets, depending on what kind of phrasing you actually prefer. So, there's at least... The enemy LT close here is in a house, and that's very good for us, because if he's in a house... There. Next to the mortar. There is a very little chance that someone would actually find a body. And right now, people finding bodies is going to be uh, the biggest problem for us. He's down. Okay, so we got one more. Uh, wait a minute. Close to the docks, you say? There's actually a VIP close to the docks. We need to rush now. We need to really rush and take that guy out. The docks here are almost always poorly defended. So if, can, if we can take out that guy instead of the tower, it will help immensely. Yeah, there he is. He's down! We got it! Challenge completed. And that guy is down too. Nice. So we are in the solar reward. Uh, gasoline, passes, and calm duels. And we also earned theater points and medications. That's really nice. We actually did it, boys. So, let's see if we can. Yeah, we got the sniper. Nice work. I am a bit tempted to see if we can go for the fourth one. And, of course, with the same provisions. I mean, I've already completed the challenge. But I want to see if I can get the fourth one. I mean, I'm on a, such a high right now that getting the fourth one will ju would just be icing on the cake. We don't have a shot. I say again, we do not have a shot. So we're gonna move in. Be very careful about it. They're right on top of us. He's down. But they are bound to suspect something. He's down. We need to storm the mortar position now. We did not make it. I say again, we did not make it. They found a dead body and they're bound to raise alarm. So we didn't make it by the rules of the challenge. We did not manage to do so without getting suspected four. But we managed to get all four of them. So we're gonna switch back to the MPX and we're gonna grab that chopper and get the hell out of here. All aboard, we're heading out. Clear to go loud. And we are out of here, boyos. That felt good. Really good. And we have broken contact. Ghosts are moving on to the next objective. 
So the next challenge will hopefully be a bit easier. In Tabacal, we are to use the explosive drone to destroy Unidad ground vehicles. Now that is going to be tricky because there aren't that much Unidad activity in this province. But I can already see at least one Unidad ground vehicle. So we're going to put down the helicopter. We're going to jump out. And we're going to release our drone and see exactly where that Unidad target is. Unidad targets detected. The signal is getting weak. We need to take this out as quickly. Holy shit! I mean, that explosive drone was maybe a bit more than I expected it to be. Uh, I don't know if that actually counted as a Unidad ground vehicle. Uh, but apparently it might have, because, or rather, I'm very disappointed if it didn't, because that had to be a kill. The nice thing about the drone is that we can be a bit further away when we're actually using it. And we have a Unidad outpost here with at least two more vehicles. Sniper yeah, this tower. is confirmed Unidad right here. Let's plant the IED and that's two vehicles down. Or at least there should be. Let's take out that sniper before he makes our position. Sniper down. I just need to check. Yeah, all three vehicles counted. Secondary explosions get the hell down before they see us. <clears throat> we do not want to be compromised here. That said, uh, I wouldn't actually mind if they called for reinforcements because there aren't that many more vehicles around here. Uh, but if they call for reinforcements, we'll have to be careful about the rebels. Make sure the rebels are not caught in the crossfire. However, there is another way to do it, but I'm not really sure about it. We could use the flag gun, of course, but I'm, I'm not convinced about the merits of that idea. Instead, we are gonna keep on punishing the enemy position. Sniper down. Ah, uh, we missed the grunt. Grunt is down. Heads down, boys. Only dead chop. Stay low. Yeah, we don't want to be compromised by that helicopter at this time. We are going to get a clear line of fire on the ground. He's down. Good. Uh, that helicopter is coming here as air support. But we can't take it out because the entire point of this thing was to take out ground vehicles. <sighs> and I don't see any more ground vehicles. In fact, I have a hard time seeing any other bases here for the Unidad. We have uh, National, National Road 5, but that's a Santa Blanca outpost. And we this is also Santa Blanca, Santa Blanca. This thing could be a Unidad outpost for all I know. And there could be Unidad positions in Bella Salva. But other than that, I can't really see We'll check out this location first, and then we'll check out that location first. So, we're gonna disengage and return to the helicopter. That sounds like the best way to do this. Because doing this mission by simply waiting for vehicles to respawn, it is, it is, it's a bit cheap, ain't it? There are a lot of lights and switches up here. 
All right, so all aboard, and we will check out if the next step on our agenda is actually a unit at base. Sounds good, right? We are passing over a place that is definitely not a unit at base. In fact, it looks more like a rebel base to me. And that does not look like a unit at base either. Looks more like Santa Blanca. Yeah, I'm fairly convinced that area is Santa Blanca and not Unidad. Uh, because, yeah. Number three. So we'll head for the next location, this one. And have a look-see. And also check if there are any Unidad vehicles in the town. If we see any Unidad vehicles on the roads, we will stop and ambush them. It could be a sound, uh, Unidad outpost right below us there, but I don't actually believe it. Uh, however, what I think is up ahead is most definitely looks something like an outpost of some kind. It could actually be a Unidad 1 too. Not convinced, but we will have a look. I'll just... <laughs> Apparently I flew so far away, we're not actually in the province anymore. And I think I actually have to be in the province for this to count. We're still not in the actual province. This is getting a bit ridiculous. But let's put her down and... Yeah, that could be either a Santa Blanca or Unidad outpost. And here is hoping it's an actual, honest to god, Unidad one. Drone is airborne. Sniper. No, this is Santa Blanca. Crap. That means we go f grab this helicopter. And we are going to see about... We can check the te Tecala base, I'm sure, but... It's not really the same thing. Uh, the observation post may actually be the only... Unidad outpost out there, but I'm going to investigate that area as well. But if that area does not contain more Unidad vehicles, we are going to simply return to the other place and hope its vehicles have respawned. Because if the other vehicles have respawned, we'll just wait. We have one on the road. I say again, we have contact Unidad on the road. All we need to do now is find a suitable location to set down the chopper, then use the drone to hunt down the enemy vehicle, and we should be golden. Actually, ah crap, maybe a bit of a hard landing there. Come on, we need to get out and we need to get the drone to that enemy vehicle and a ASAP. Oh crap! That's not good, my drone was destroyed by the rotor. I was far too eager there, so we need to simply keep up the pursuit with our helicopter here. It's heading into town, and that worries me in regards to collateral damage. The explosive drone is back, so we're just gonna jump back. This time we're gonna take some distance to the helicopter before we're throwing it out there. And I lost it. No, wait, Enemy there it marked. is. We're running out of range here. Yeah, we're far, too far away. And the enemy vehicle is no longer tagged, so... I suppose there's nothing else to it, but simply return and see. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet jumps, alright? Or we could do... Give this one more try. 
I think they're gonna head this way. So if that's the case, we can go to this location somewhere around here and simply just blow them up as so. Oh, come on. Just put it down. Here we go. Drone IED coming right up. Target destroyed. Nice. We actually got it. Clear. How are you guys holding up? I mean, destroying it with the helicopter would have been far more efficient. But obviously, that would have been boring. So, we're gonna return to that outpost still. Might be that we engage Unidad vehicles on the way there, but... I'm going to be boring and most likely try and re-engage the outpost. Oh crap, uh, whatever was in that outpost just saw us and they do not like us. They have basically just given our location away, but we managed to get away before that happened. So soon we shall be close to that vehicle depot again and hopefully there will be vehicles there for us to blow up and if my visual scanning is not altogether incorrect there might actually be uh, also my helicopter is drifting down yeah there's a car for us to blow up two cars actually so we had to do this the boring way and solo challenge two is completed and we got a bunch of rewards for that so now we're, all we have to do is dig our helicopter out of the jungle and see if we still can take off with this thing and then we have to get out our next target will be media luna and that is not a place you fly to so, welcome to Media Luna, where we will be manually deactivating jammers. And this is not going to be fun at all. Because Media Luna is not really a place where you do a lot of flying. So, Media Luna will... This thing will be pretty much us sneaking onto the enemy. Now, apparently my sniper rifle doesn't have a suppressor on, so we're gonna go to change that. Make sure the D28 actually have a suppressor. Because I do not to want tower. to think about what would happen if we tried this without having a suppressed gun. That said, getting into the base is going to be our first problem either way. This is one of the bases in Media Luna, and it's also the Austin largest, so it is my hope Life that it tower. will <laughs> turn out to be the best option for getting at least uh, two of the jammers. But I, I digress. I, if I'm going to be guessing here, I think that there's only one jammer. So we are going to switch to our submachine gun. And we are gonna go running it's pretty much straight we at the jammer. Danger close. We got Tango's Danger Close, meaning might be in here. No, they're not in here. Two grunts next to the container, see? Alright, so two drones in that location. Down, you're giving yourself away. He's down. Top of the tower. Tango number three. Yeah, he's down. I can see the jammer. We're taking out the patrol on the road first. Can't have them interfering. Tangos are down. But we are currently very suspected. And we need to shut this down manually. 
It is going to be a bit of a bitch, really. So we shut down one jammer manually. I'm going to use the... Or did we? Yeah. The jammer is down. I'm gonna see if there's another jammer close by. There almost have to, has to be. We're gonna get some altitude and check that out. Yeah, we lost contact with the drone. But Eyes on the with the either we didn't Close shut that thing area. down. I'm gonna actually gonna double check it. Yeah, according to that thing, we actually did shut that jammer down. But that means there's a that means there's one more. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. Yeah, this direction is not where the drone drone jammer is then. Another tango. Baby makes three. Okay, so red, very red, is probably a jammer of some sort. And. He makes five. Yeah, it might be that the. My drone's being jammed. The jammer could, and I really say could, be on the airport area. I do not know. But if that's the case, we should try and get inside some uh, wheels and go there. Uh, so we got, I'm gonna, just going to tag it on my minimap. But we're going to need one of the Unidad cars for that, so we can easily blend Let's in. Let's go. Eyes on two Unidad soldiers. It's kind of interesting that we're trying to blend in here, and yet uh, the guy standing up, up from the hatch does not have a Unidad uniform. Okay, so here's a jammer. Let's turn it off, and we're done. Or at least we're done with two of them. We can use the thermal to see if there's a third one close by. I do not think it is, because if so, I think we would not be able to just fly around with our drone like this. Uh, the other two appears to be... Is that an air defense system? Yeah, confirmed that they're air defense systems. Got eyes on an air defense system. So, that's basically it. We have disabled two jammers. So, uh, question is where the last one is. It could be in La Loma, of course. Uh, in fact, I ha seem to have a re memory of there being some kind of a unit that outpost very close to a village near the river that does indeed have a jammer and it's most it might actually be the most probable location because i willingly admit that i have no idea where the last jammer in media luna is and we can be pretty damn sure that yeah, this is a combat outpost. It has a light paddle, it has a lob, it has a power generator. Uh, so, apparently some of these have, a, have... We have actually scouted some of these. And the mob condor is have has two drone jammers, so... All we have to do now, basically, is... Uh, investigate the intelligence with... Ah, so... FOB Butre. Uh, has the last drone jammer. At least now we know where we're going. Going there is actually going to be a bit trickier, but as long as we have the Unidad wheels, we might as well use them. Because anyone who played Ghost Recon Wildlands knows one simple fact. Media Luna is the place you do not fly in. Because if you try and fly in Media Luna, you get shot down. So we have tracked down the last drone jammer to this outpost, so... This should be, hopefully, a straightforward thing to just get inside 
and shut it off. Now, usually shutting down a drone jammer can be done in several ways, but since our primary method is actually to reach the drone jammer and shut it off that way, uh, our options are rather limited. Enemy spotted. At least we have spotted the jammer itself, and I'm gonna s no, we can't get. I'm gonna see if I can get some altitude and. Yeah, I think an infiltration route through this area will most likely benefit us best. We might be exposed towards the snipers there because the sniper seems to already suspect our our presence. But they can be taken out easily enough. Top of the tower. Yeah, that guy needs to stay put before I put a round in him. He's down. Move. The general idea is to do this with as few as few shots as possible, but it doesn't seem like I was right in there being a hole in the fence here. And if there's not a hole in the fence, we can't get in here. And that's just bad. Because right now we got a visual detection as well, and that's horrible news. We need to stand by in the gorge here. Yeah, the alarm has been sounded. Fuck. Not good. It's so close. I wish... Ah, crap. We need to get down now. Go away. Thank you. Oh, come on. That was a hit. Engaging hostiles. Sniper, sniper's got a zero. Called for some rebels to back us up. Copy that. A third team will be right there. Second one is down. We need to take out that alarm before it summons another chopper. And that sniper needs to be taken out. Once that is done, the fire team and ourselves should be able to infiltrate the area. Frag out. And we have enemies coming in from behind. We need to move quicker than this. I called the rebels for mortar fire. Copy that. Fire fire. Ah, crap. Right behind me. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. I don't know what hit that thing, but I'm grateful. We need to get picked up, and we need to keep on moving inside. <laughs> Preferably, we just grab that vehicle so we get some guns. Grenade, watch out. Grenade, grenade. Yeah, just move. I'm sick of this crap now. We'll just move in, shoot as much as possible, ram this thing out of our way, Come on. Why? Get out of the way. Do not shoot at the drone jammer, please. I need to shut it down. Oh, so close. So damn close. Why on earth did I have to be detected? 
And then Unidad just swarms the entire region. Like, I mean... The sheer speed of which they are just swarming the entire place. Took you so long. Quite impressive. Copter, get down. Okay, we're done. Solo challenge three is done. Now all we have to do is try and get out of here. But there's a good way to do that. Helicopter, get down. I'm so annoyed at the fact that when people are alerted, they can take so much more damage than they can if they're not alerted. Gunship is standing by. We got the attack helicopter at least, but we gotta need to try and shake the unit out away from us. Oh crap, there's a SAM site somewhere around here. There are at least two light helicopters we need to destroy. Target destroyed, engaging second target. Oh, come on! Nothing goes right for me this time. Let's just go. I don't care if we end up eating a stamp side or whatever ha the hell happens. Sound site has been destroyed. We managed to break it. Nice. Hopefully this will be enough for us to break contact. Yeah, we managed to lose. Nice. Everyone out. Well, at least we managed to do it. Could have been worse. We managed to do all three of the challenges. Let's see what w rewards we get for it. So we actually have one crate. And we get googly eyes headsets because I really wanted that. We got the Santa Blanca helicopter and the Barrett skull. Uh, I wouldn't really say that any of this is actually worth it. Because when it comes to the Santa Blanca helicopter, I, al I already have the Unidad one. So, And, I mean, who on earth would want the googly eyes headset? I mean, I would not want that anytime. But the nice thing about the crates is that since the crates do not have duplicates, I'm not really likely to get it again, am I? So, I'm basically just standing here, checking out my FAMAS. Not really sure why I do that, but at some point, I might actually use the FAMAS, so... So, let's just put on the compensator on there, and... Voila! And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys have been entertained by my antics. Catch you guys later.